Okay, so uh, this video is to show you how to use your iPod on your dash. Uh, some people um, seem to have issues. Now, one thing I will tell you, I'm doing this video because some folks seem to have issues with iPad and iPod Nanos. I don't know if the Nano supports the full Apple protocol. I know the iPod touches do. And let me clarify, that is an Apple-specific protocol. Some people say, well, why doesn't the Spider support Android? It's because Android doesn't have the, the protocol over USB to do this kind of stuff that Apple does. It's proprietary to Apple, and it just so happens that uh, Radio Sound, who makes the radio for the Spider, implemented the full Apple uh, control protocol, okay? Again, I don't know if the Nano support the full protocol. If you don't get these screens, maybe it doesn't. I don't know that there'd be a problem with your cable, especially if you can go into iPod mode. Now also, make sure you have your iPod hooked to the proper cable. There's an MP3 cable and an iPod cable. If you hook it to the MP3 cable, instead of seeing iPod here, which I'll show in a minute, you're gonna see aux. And all you can do in aux is like Android, is uh, uh, skip forward a song, skip back a song, uh, simple things like that. You won't get this full menu system. So let me show you how to get into iPod mode. As you see right now, I'm on my speedometer and it's showing a radio station, 95.5 down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit mode, all right, until it actually shows the radio screen. Then hit set, don't hold it, just tap it. All right, it'll go to AM, then it'll go to weather, and then it'll go to your iPod. Now you'll see I'm playing a song right now because the iPod never actually stops playing, believe it or not. Or it pauses the song when you switch out, but your iPod's on all the time back there. Anyways, you see I'm already in an album and a song, and of course you can use forward to change songs, right, or back. Uh, things like that, but then to get into the advanced iPod menu What you do is while you're on a song on this iPod screen, right? Not on the speedometer not on this, right? You need to hit mode again until you see the iPod screen then hold down set All right, and then you'll get the menu that shows playlists artists albums and of course the right side will show you what is uh, uh, selected depending on what you're over on here. So I'm going to go down to artist, right? And then it'll show all my artists. And then if I scroll right, I'll be on the artists. And let's say I go down to uh, Boston, right? So, and that's, I've been using the up and down arrows to do that. So left and right, up and down once you're on the screen. See, I'll go back, right? I'll go back with this. And then I'll move down to albums, all right? You saw it just go down to albums using the down button. There's albums, right? Now I'll go over to the right, and once you see the blue triangles around this screen, you can now scroll down and select an album. So, you know, I can pick the uh, best of Pink Floyd here, right? So now, to select that album, you go right again. So if I click this, it will now go show you that album, and you can see the songs on it. If you just want to start from the beginning, once again, you go right, and it'll switch to that song. There we go. Money Pink Floyd. All right, so once again, you're on the iPod screen. Hold down set. Now, it'll start you again back at the playlist, artists, or album. So this time I'll go to artists. I will go right. Right, now i am got the arrows around that. I'll go down to the Beach Boys, right? Now I wanna go into that artist. I go right, and now you can see it's got all the songs under that artist. If I wanna select a specific song, I go up and down. So let's go down to say, Catch a Wave, right? So I went down. Now I wanna play that song, I go right. And it should switch. There we go. All right, so that's how you use your iPod to control, or your uh, handlebars and your dash to control the iPod. Once again, the key here is don't be on the speedometer screen that says iPod. You need to actually hit mode once until it says iPod, shows the song, and then hold select to get into the menus. Hope that helps.